Welcome back everyone to your C programming tutorial series. Here, let me just clean that off to make it nice and fresh, okay? <laughs> so in the last video, we had this code. And this is cool, but you can see we're typing in the values of these variables right here. This is called hard coding. It means like once we compile this, the only way to change it is to recompile the program. We have to go in there, edit it, recompile and then redistribute our new program to all of our customers. That is generally bad. Instead, it would be so much cooler if we could just ask the user, hey, give me a value for X. Make the program a communication between the computer and the person using the final program. That is our goal for today. So we're actually going to create a pretty cool application. The goal of the application is to calculate the area of a circle. So the person's going to run the program, it's going to ask for a radius, and then it'll calculate it and spit back the value to the user. And if you're crappy at geometry, that's okay, I'll teach you how to do everything. <laughs> so I'm basically going to just slaughter everything we have here and just get rid of it all, but I'll keep some general structure. So first I'm going to get rid of this string because you know we're gonna change that. But I'm gonna keep the new line at the end and then I'll get rid of the variables. That's kind of like the basic outline of what we're going to fill in with new variables. The next thing is we're going to get rid of these variables and just create new ones. So the very first thing is we are going to create a radius variable. So the radius is the distance from the outside to the center of the circle. That is the thing we are going to get from the user. So how do we get a value from the user? Well, just like there's this printf function, there is a function to scan data from the console. And you guessed it, it's scanf. If I can type, ugh, scanf. <laughs> now, what do we pass in here? Well, it's actually very similar to printf. The first thing is we need to say the format string. So what is the format of the data? And the format is going to be an integer. Now we don't have to put a new line in here. We only need the new line down here if we want to output that new line. But in here, we're just going to get an integer. And where is that integer going to be stored? Well, it's actually going to be stored inside of the variable radius right here. So this part's kind of weird. And this is one of those things where you might just have to memorize at first until you really understand it. But you actually have to put an ampersand. I think that's how you say it and then the variable name. For you smarticle pants people out there, this is called the address of operator. And what this does is it allows the scanf function to change the value of this variable we are passing in. If we just, you know, passed in radius like this, it's not gonna work. I mean, you can try it, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> so let's make sure we put that back in there before we break things. The reason printf does not need the address of operator when we pass in something in here like x is because the printf function doesn't actually change the variable. All it does is output it. Scanf will change the variable. It gives it a value of what the user inputs. So that is super, 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 super important to remember. <laughs> so I'm gonna get rid of the x for now and go back up here. So let's save this and run it and make sure it works. First thing though, is that the printf is not properly formatted. So the compiler is just going to complain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw in the radius variable here. And then let's escape and save. Oh, okay, so I have an error because I forgot to put the uh, percent sign before the i. So let's go back into our code and let's add that in there real quick. There we go. Okay, I just ran the program and you see it's beeping at me. It's just telling me to type something in. But the thing is, it's not very clear. It doesn't say, hey, beautiful, it's nice to see you today. Would you please give me a number? Yeah, exactly, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> but if we type a number in here, you can see it outputs it. So the program's working, but it doesn't ask the user. So that is something we want to implement. And generally, when we ask the user to insert some data, that is called a user prompt, P-R-O-M-P, P-R-O-M-P-T, <laughs> and that's just asking the user to do something. We're prompting the user. So let's go back in our code and make things not crappy. <laughs> 
So before we scan, we actually want to print to prompt the user. So we want to go into insert mode and say print F. Please enter a radius, just like that. And now let's compile using GCC and run it. Please enter a radius, 200. And then it outputs the radius. To make this output a little bit better, we could say, hey, the given radius is 200. So to do that, let's go back into our code. Um, to vim, jim, 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 and just add in here, the given radius is 200. And then when we compile and run it, enter radius 2000. The given radius is 2000. In the next video, we are going to worry about doing all the complicated calculations. I think that was enough for this video. Now you guys understand how to get integer input from the user. And if you go back into our code real quick, I'll show you something cool. This percent %i, this conversion character, there are actually other conversion characters used to take different types of data. And we'll learn about all of that stuff in the upcoming videos. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Please be sure to subscribe.